PodSound School presents Content Heavy, the podcast that helps online business owners make better content and more money. Let's Hefe up. Hey, welcome to the Content Hefe podcast. Better content, more money. This podcast is brought to you by the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. I'm the audio nerd at the Pod Sound School and also a video and podcast editor and producer by trade. And in today's episode, I want to challenge you with a question. Are you being smart with your content? So in particular, I also want to introduce you to what I think of as the two different types of content platforms. And I'm thinking in terms of marketing and sales, which are two different things, but I'm thinking about those two things when it comes to content creation as it relates to online business owners trying to generate more leads and sell more products or services. So before we talk about the two different platforms, let's first just talk about how insane content creation is and how we have this idea that we want to start making money online and that we have really great ideas for services or products that we could provide or courses that we could create or workshops or coaching programs. And then when we actually get into it, it can be really daunting and insane to know which platform we should be on, what type of content we should be creating. Do we need to have a podcast? Do we need to have a YouTube channel? And what type of videos and episodes do we need to be making? And it becomes very apparent that we need to have a very strong content strategy. And unfortunately, so many of us just kind of willy-nilly produce a bunch of content, just put it onto the players. You know, many of us are trying just to do four TikToks a week like Gary Vee wants us to do in hopes that something will happen and that will catch the attention of a big audience. But when we're not intentional with our content and we don't know what our content is doing on those specific platforms and how those specific platforms may actually be in different categories of content to begin with, well, then all of our efforts could really just wind up being a big sancocho, like Veronica says, or just a mixed soup of mess that nobody understands. And really, unfortunately, we're not going to really generate a lot of leads or sustain our online business for very long. Because in the world of online business, content is where we find our new leads. That's where we find our customers. They're online. So we're at the whim of what I think of as content platforms. And here I'm going to separate these two platforms into two different groups and tell you why I like to think of them as two different groups. The first group is pretty much all of the social media platforms. So you've got YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, all of those are in category one. Those are the social media platforms you could think of them as. And this first group of these social media platforms is what I like to think of as the cold lead group or where we have just the very top part of our sales funnel. So people who are just meeting us for the very first time, when they stumble across a post or a video or something that we have just shared on that platform, that's the first time they've ever been introduced to us. Now, the second group of platforms is what I like to think of as the warm lead group. And this is where we are actually going to be able to nourish our leads a little bit more and actually develop relationships with our prospects. And those platforms are newsletters, podcasts, and going live or live streaming. And of those three, I think that podcasts are king. It's podcasts, then live streaming, and then newsletters but I'm biased because I just love podcasts and I've seen the effects firsthand with clients and with ourselves, the effects that podcasts can have on your business. It's really exciting. So now that I've introduced those two different groups to you, let's talk more about content strategy and why your content is different in one group versus the other group and why it's important to know that. And again, let's get into marketing and sales. So the first thing is it can be really difficult to sell stuff to cold leads. We all know that, especially depending on the price of what it is that you're selling. So if you're selling something for $14 or $9, then you could probably put together a really professional video ad and just run that on YouTube and actually generate some profit off of that because cold leads will buy something that's $9 or $14 if you just impress them enough with your authority and how you produce your video. But anything that's even over a few hundred dollars or, you know, a thousand dollars or three thousand dollar coaching program, all of those things as consumers, we take a longer time to make those purchase decisions. 
And we usually make those decisions when it comes to coaching or any kind of online business. It needs to be somebody that we've known for a while online before we actually pull out our wallet and buy what it is that they're selling us. And I'm sure you've heard about this in marketing books all over the place and blog posts, the no like trust factor, the KLT. And that's what can be really difficult to build on the social platforms. So if somebody finds you on TikTok, say, and they really like that one TikTok video you did, many times, yes, they are gonna click on your profile and go check out maybe a ton of other videos that they're attracted to for the thumbnail for whatever reason. The same could be said for YouTube. And in that sense, there can be a little bit of no like trust happening for sure. And it does happen there, but nothing like what happens in the case of a podcast. And even if they have developed trust and like for us, they don't really want to be sold directly on those platforms. Those platforms, they want to be entertained there. They want to be informed there. They expect things to be free there. And if they get a sense that you're selling them too much there, they're not going to continue to follow you and they're not going to actually build trust with you there on that platform. So that's why we need to have somewhere else that we can send them besides directly to our product or service. And that's where our other group of content platforms come in. That's where newsletters come in. Have you signed up for my newsletter? And that's where podcasts come in. Have you checked out my podcast? Come listen to my podcast because when they come over and listen to your podcast, suddenly now you're in their ears. They get a different side of you, a more intimate part of you. Oftentimes we're more unscripted. We also show more of our personalities and we're more casual. We tell stories and there's all these different content strategies you can employ with what type of episodes you put out and the different content pillars that you're hitting on and also incorporating SEO and all of that into your podcast podcasting as well that can make your podcast even more effective. But specifically for the no like trust factor, there's nothing like a podcast. So you take cold leads from your social media, you send them to your podcast, and that's where you can nourish them and turn them into warm leads. And then from your podcast, you can sell your services directly because your conversion rates are going to be a lot higher to warm leads, or you can take them to then the final level of your sales funnel, which would be your webinars, your workshops, or even a freebie in that case. You make them make a decision. You make them give you their email address. And once somebody gives you their email address, they're a lead. So in order to answer the question of, are you being smart with your content? You need to know the differences of the content. It's not just being on a platform because that's where your people are hanging out. That's all demographic market research. And yes, you should be hanging out where your ideal customer avatar or your potential purchaser is hanging out on. Yes, you need to be there. And yes, you need to understand those considerations. And then it's not just chasing the algorithm and doing things to make the platforms happy. Yes, you need to be doing that as well, too, so that you can continue to grow on those platforms. But it's more, what type of content am I posting on the platform? What type of content do the people want to see there on that platform so that I can really grab them and make them like me and, and own their attention so that they'll do things that I ask them to do, like going over and checking out my podcast? And then finally, once you get a kind of a clear understanding about what your goals and your intentions are with each platform, then you can really pinpoint and develop a smart content strategy and schedule. So you know how much time you're gonna have to set aside and spend every week to plan and produce and publish some really well thought out, highly strategic and effective content. And that's it for me today. I hope some bells went off. What did you think about this episode? Let me know, comment right where you're listening or watching. This is a video podcast and an audio podcast. You can watch the video on Spotify or YouTube. And also you can come and find out more about us anywhere at Pod Sound School. We are obsessed with unlocking the secrets and cracking the code for great content strategy for online business owners. So make sure you check in every week. And until the next episode, put on your most confident outfit and hefe up.